Hi Church, how are you today? My name is Esther and I'm really excited to be sharing one of my all-time favourite verses with you today and it is Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Today I would love to encourage you to find an inner stillness. We all know the, the power of taking time to be in God's presence, to take time to just be and we know that Jesus himself would get away from the crowds and spend time to be with the Father but for me this verse speaks more of how am I doing internally, what are my thoughts like, what's the state of my heart like and for me especially in this past year when everything's been a bit crazy um, just saying this verse be still and know that I'm God has really helped just to bring a calm and a stillness to just remind myself that he is in control. In the Nazbi translation this verse is written Seize striving and know that I am God. And the Hebrew for that phrase, seize striving, means enough. I love that. Sometimes we just need to say it to our thoughts and our emotions, enough. Stop, be still. We all know that it's possible to be still on the outside, but on the inside, be like a duck paddling beneath the surface. And maybe you found yourself in, in meetings or even at church, and to anyone looking on, you, you look calm, it's like everything's okay, you've got it all together, but on the inside, your thoughts are racing, your emotions are in turmoil, and you are anything but still. Well, I believe that the reverse of this is also true. It's possible to be going about our day-to-day, -to, -day, to be busy, to look like we are spinning plates to everyone looking on, but on the inside, we're still, and we have peace, and we know that God is in control. The key to this is know that he is God. When we do this, everything changes. Getting the right perspective is a game changer and it brings us peace to know that God is the one who is king. We need to remind ourselves that we are not God, that we are not the ones in control, that we are not the judge of everyone and everything. Um, this isn't to belittle anxiety, those anxious thoughts, those worries that you have. The psalmist that wrote these verses knew that worry and anxiety existed. There are enough verses in the Bible to indicate that this was something people battled with before iPhones existed, before there was social media. We know Philippians 4 verse 6 tells us, do not be anxious about anything. Matthew 6 25, do not worry about your life. Psalm 94 verse 19, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me great joy. And 1 John 4, 18, but perfect love casts out all fear. And there are many more verses around the subject of worry. And when you dig into them all and read the verse, the answer to overcoming worry is always God. So today, as you get caught up in the demands and pressures of your life, as you go about your to-do list, um, maybe you feel like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, let me encourage you to focus on God in each of those moments as you feel those emotions rise, as you feel your thoughts racing, be still and know that I am God. Have that the record on repeat, have that the, the words going round and round in your head, make that the playlist of your day. Be still and know that I am God. I love 1 Corinthians 10 verse 5 tells us, take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Every thought, we have to take captive, make it obedient, be still. We have to tell every thought, be still and know that he is God. So praying for you today, church. Remember, we can be busy on the outside, but still on the inside. Have a great day.